Got a flash drive for the Tesla. And this is like a solar shower. Have you guys heard of these? Apparently you put a bunch of cold water in here and put this in the sun and then it gets hot. Let's set this stuff up tomorrow. Today is Carrie and my two year anniversary since we started dating. We usually like to go to Santa Barbara. That's kind of our special spot for our romantic anniversaries. But yeah, we can't go there right now. We can't leave the house right now. So we're celebrating it in the house and it's fantastic. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow, but <laughs> cheers from Anniversary Land. So, have you ever heard of a solar shower? Uh, you mentioned it to me not that long ago. So, you know how our shower always goes out and we have to take really cold showers? Yeah, I hate that. Boom! This is made of some material that's very absorbent and apparently people use it for camping, but you can put cold water in here and just let it soak up the sun for a couple hours and it's supposed to get warm so you could take nice warm showers even when you're camping. Wow! What if it's cloudy? Oh, then you're, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but aren't you kind of curious to see how well it works? Yeah. You know, today's also April Fool's Day. We should do an April Fool's joke on the dogs. For a while, there was that trend where people would go and hold oh, the, uh, yeah, blanket, the blanket and then up. they would disappear. Yeah. We should do that. How long have you been working on untying that? Easy. Would you like some help no. from a man? <laughs> <laughs> black already absorbs heat. Yeah, but like, is this any different than just a random black bag? Or is there some special molecular structure to the, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, look, you can see how much is in there. And it's nice and cold in there. I don't think it'll ever be like really hot. I think it'll be like warm. Like it'll be comfortable to rinse off. All right, so it is full of water. Okay, so the instructions say, lay this flat with black side up. And I feel like we should also try to get the air out of it. Because the thing is, if you lay it like this and there's air in it, then it's just gonna heat up the air. We got the air out, and now we just let it sit here and see if it gets warm. And then maybe take a shower. Look at this little nozzle. And also, check this out, huh? I expand flash drive. So it's a little oh, flash drive. Oh, first entry mode. So as of right now, the Tesla records while you're driving for up to an hour. It's kind of an hour loop. And also in sentry mode, it records whenever it feels like there's something going on around it. But the issue is that you can't really watch back the footage on here or the app, which is weird because everything about this car is so advanced. It feels like the only thing you can't do is view the footage out of these cameras. So you have to pull out the USB stick and then hook it up to a computer. But this should make it so we can use a third party app to view it with our phones because we can just pull it out of the car, hook it up to our phone and see what's going on. So this is gonna fit in right there. We have to have a sentry mode event go on. All right, Carrie, you gotta try to break into this car. You don't look like a very good criminal. We're a bunch of criminals. Let's check out some of this footage. I uh, press and hold this to eject. Plug this thumb drive into my phone. The app I got is called Sentry View and I can see the suspicious activity. I can't really see Carrie's face, but I could see her butt. <laughs> what if this was the angle that you had on a criminal? It's like, I don't know what the criminal's face looks like, but I know what their butt looks like. <laughs> the best part about this though is that you don't have to bother with taking the USB stick to a computer to clear it out. You just delete it right from here, you plug it back in, good to go. Carrie's crying because she can't go back to work. She really loves her job. All the California schools officially are done for the whole school year now, so a couple months of school just cut off like that. It's kind of crazy. So Carrie basically wants to find a new hobby. We'll take some suggestions. You can learn how to crochet or something. <laughs> You can learn it. You want to go learn how to play the, cricket by yourself? The dogs are going to be <laughs> learning like all kinds of new tricks. Yeah. It means I'm taking a little thumbnail here. I'm trying to make it look like the cameras are getting hot in the oven. So I'm using Aperture's RGB lights and I have it set to red. It's actually really handy that there's magnets in the back because I was trying to figure out how to mount it up here. I realized it just sticks up there with magnets. So that's useful. Look at that. It is actually really warm now. Surprisingly, like it's not that warm today. It's 65 degrees, but this is definitely much warmer than 65 degrees. This is actually kind of cool. It worked better than expected. I do feel like this part could use some improvement though, because every time I pick it up, it feels like it's about to rip. So I guess we're supposed to take this, hook it up somewhere kind of high, and then we could turn the valve on and take a shower. This thermometer caps out at 103 degrees and it's topped off right now. And it definitely feels like a hot bath. If it was any hotter than this, then I would want to cool it down. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, huh? Yeah, Isn't that awesome. cool? Yeah. <gasps> That's my least favorite part about camping for multiple days is not having a hot shower. I'm just not hardcore enough for that. Yeah, Link it's... in description. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm going to take a shower. Yeah, this works great. Two thumbs up.
Let's see if we could prank these two dogs right here, Peta and Lefty. Woo. That didn't work at all, did it? All right, Carrie's gonna give it a shot too. Here, I'll come from the side on this. Okay, Chicky, are you ready to be pranked? <laughs> what the hell? These dogs not care about me. These dogs thought I just vanished off the face of the planet and their reaction was like, eh. Now one of the things I want to start doing more of is shooting on the red a little bit more. Mainly because we own it and we just underutilize it I think. Like when it comes to convenience, it's really hard to beat this EOS R. But I am trying to build out this red setup to be a nice little solo operator setup. So I'm just going to use this to get a few shots of Sam working out here in the yard. Let me know if it looks way, way cooler. It definitely looks a lot better through here than it would on here. I don't know, what do you guys think? So Dylan and Sam are gonna do a little sparring session. So of course, I wanna capture this in 5K. On the blue corner is Dylan. And then on the other corner, we have Sam. So much for social distancing. 